talk about some video <laughs> some video game stuff. I got snacks. <laughs> we have snacks. I got snacks now. <laughs> uh, good but I. <laughs> <laughs> And musical instruments. Snacks that double as musical instruments. Sorry, I'm a child. Get some, hole, get some holes and poke in it and play it like a little recorder. You get some holes and poke in it. Maybe if you get enough of them. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Maybe if you get enough of them, you could sound like Vader going through the... <laughs> and then just like a little kid Vader or something. <laughs> you sound wheezy. <laughs> <laughs> you just sound like you have tuberculosis. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Sorry. I'm a child. Sorry if you have tuberculosis. <laughs> to all our listeners Sorry. that have tuberculosis, we apologize. Sorry if you actually have TB. Sorry. Sorry, Val Kilmer in the movie Tombstone. <laughs> yeah, Doc Holliday had, had TB. That's why I said that. Hmm. Bam! Nintendo. <laughs> Let's talk about it. And and a lot of other stuff. There were like some high profile releases last week too. Oh, uh, we'll talk about that stuff too. Or uh, Fallout Four came out. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The big boy. I forgot because none of us are playing it. <laughs> I want mm. to. Yeah, I really, I really want to. Do they still have the same uh, like combat? The Vats. I think so. Yeah. I think so. Going on. Was that still in? Um, I didn't. Re- I have New Vegas over there, but I didn't, I didn't even play it. I haven't played it. I played. New Vegas, but three definitely had it. It was like a carryover from the old school top down oh, RPG. Yeah, three had it. I re- yeah, I really liked it in three. Oh, three I played shit. the shit out of that game. That was awesome. I never finished it. Really? Mm-mm. Not even like the story. I got about halfway through the story and something came out. I think that might have been one of the years that like maybe one of the Arkham Batman Arkham games came out and I just started playing it or a Zelda or something came out. I can't I, I finished was. the like the main line. But I don't. I never did all the DLC stuff. No, I didn't complete it. But I, I did finish the main story. I got like stuck right at the end or something, or there was something about the end that was yeah kind of a pain in the ass. But. Anyway, this new one, the new one looks freaking awesome. And if uh, uh, yeah. numbers are any indication, um, like there's three or four times more people playing that game than are playing the new Call of Duty game. Yeah, it's which is Call pretty baller. Tale. What is the new Call of Black Ops? 3? Black Ops Three came yeah. out this okay. week too. Right? Was it this week? I think so. Or last week? Anyway, it might have been last like Friday, a, I think. I saw like a numbers infographic of like people playing now, people played like the lifetime of the game so far, and it was like 300 something thousand on Call of Duty, and it was like well, over a million in Fallout 4. Well, how many Call of Duty? It was like three times the amount. How many Call crazy. of Duty games have we had since? One every year. One a year. <clears throat> There's been one a year. So, and yep. then the like, last proper Fallout was like Fallout 3, then, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean that's been a minute. So you probably yeah. had like, I mean, how many years are in between Fallout Three and Fallout Four? That's a, that's that's a long time, right? Four or five years, right? Oh yeah, at, at least. least at least yeah. So you've had like maybe maybe five, four or five, maybe six Call of Duty games that because they're having one oh, year. Oh, there's been more than that. Uh, Fallout Three came in, out in like oh nine maybe. So that's just because yeah, we've had New Vegas and Skyrim between then. Yeah. And yeah. it's like two years, I think, between their <clears throat> games, right? Yeah, because well, uh, does New Vegas, Vegas really count though? Because New Vegas was developed by Obsidian, right? The guys so who that's did, a, uh, doesn't Kotor. really count, does it? So yeah, so like not, since like a since like a proper Fallout game, right? I guess, you know, Fallout Three to Fallout Four, it's been a hot minute. five, six years, yeah, yeah at, le- at least six, yeah, at least six. Then, so you've had that many Call of Duty games, maybe more Call of Duty games come out where it's just like. Yeah, now one comes out. It's like a well. Call that's what I'm Duty. saying. It's not other. Uh, that's consistently oh, really? like the blockbuster sales game every year. Yeah. Consistently, is that kind of like the Madden? Now, like I was never really into sports mm. games. But Activision sports. went to annualizing a lot of their stuff, and they've got like three teams that rotate the Call of Duty development cycles. Mm. So it was just like, the, the, it's not just games in general, but Call of Duty is consistently the hottest entertainment thing sold every year as far as like media mm. it always sells more every year so it's just kind of cool to see the numbers of all these people playing fallout 4 compared to the people that are playing the new one right now i remember that yeah. the day that uh fallout 4 came out i saw this somewhere i can't remember where it was but uh the traffic of a particular uh, adult website Oh. <laughs> significantly <laughs> dipped <laughs> pornhub's traffic dropped by like half the day that Fallout 4 came out. 
Man, I was I, I laughed out loud when I saw that. Actually, <laughs> that was that was funny. I guess that was a a funny little anecdote to that. <clears throat> <laughs> You I know, got no time for baiting. I gotta go save the apocalypse. <laughs> you know, I thought, <laughs> shut up! I'm ba- oh wait, Fallout Four. Never mind. I'm not no baiting. Way I'm ba- nope. <laughs> you know, I thought it was running faster that day. <laughs> <laughs> My video loaded a lot quicker that day. There was almost no buffering. <laughs> That's funny. The uh, one of the other big releases was uh, Tomb Raider Two. Or not Tomb Raider, so the second the, Tomb Raider the rise, from the reboot. The rise of the Tomb Raider. Which is supposed to be really, it's really supposed good. to be one of the best games of the year. can only play it on Xbox One. At least for a year. Yep. Unfortunately. Because the reboot was... The year that it came out, that was like the one game that wasn't part of an existing franchise. Well, I mean, it is part of an existing franchise, but it was so new and so different. Was, yeah, reboot. Then it was pretty much its own thing. And I'd never. It was supposed to be like a lot like uh, what it, Uncharted, which I'd never really played those games. And you like, need to. Yeah, no. I got the first one. I got the first one whenever I got the PS3. Mm-hmm. But man, the first Tomb Raider was phenomenal. I would say the get, first new one. I would say get the Uncharted collection on PS4, but that's a sixty dollars game, and you can get all three of the Uncharted games on PS3 for like five dollars a piece. Yeah. So. And it's the same game oh, with just really? up, yeah. updated graphics. I think I played um, maybe the second one. I don't know what was the, the was the big one. Uncharted three was that like a or was the second one two? I think is heralded as the best of the three. Yeah, maybe that's, maybe that's two is not what necessarily I the best, but the favorite among most people that you ask. I played I played one of it. It might have even been the first one. Was but there a I, train? Do you remember a train? Oh, dude, it's been a minute. Do you man. remember a desert? I remember very general, vague things. Just basically what you would see in a trailer. That's about all I remember. There was dudes and guns and running around. (laughs) This dude and some gunplay swinging. I I think it was probably the first one because the dude was like, play the all all in a jungle. Oh no, you might have played second one. Man, it's probably the second one. I did. I do remember liking it, even though I don't remember shit about it right now. It's it Indiana Jones, the game. and it's a game. Right, yeah, that is a really good description. That's yeah. it's what it is, and yeah. that's why it's so awesome. Right, I, I totally agree. That's a very good description. It's like if Nathan Fillion played Indiana Jones. Dude, you just blew my mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically Uncharted. No. <laughs> it's really good. I just nerdgasmed all over myself. You're welcome. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now it's time for a smoke break. <laughs> Ho. <laughs> okay, so what? Fallout came out. Call of Duty's out. Tomb Raider's out. That's all this week, right? Because we're like, I mean, we're, like, we're, we're in like the knee deep of the holiday seasons yeah. where there's just going to be big shit like every year now. Or every week. Yeah. For the most part. And there's, dude, there's so much stuff coming out that I don't have time to play any of it. Yeah. That's my thing. I mean, to, to a degree, to like sit down and just like play it and play through it it'd just be sitting it'd, it'd be kind of like fallout 3 i mean it's so big oh, yeah. that's what she said <laughs> it's so big i don't know what to do with it i don't know what to do with it what that's am i supposed what to do with this thing i mean i'll play through like half of it and just like veg out on it for a couple of days and then something will come up and it'll just sit there on my shelf for five years like fallout 3 did yeah i mean i have um I, there was a time when i when i was up to date with games and i got the new game when it came out you know and um and did all that but uh i it it got to be a little overwhelming and just hard on my bank account man yeah so it's, it's overwhelming to, that's that's perfect i just had to like back off and um and since then i've sort of gotten you know back into playing very very casual all these games that were like blockbusters when you know back when i was really into it or like yeah. fucking 20 bucks or 15 dollars right. you know so like you, you could still play some really really fun games for pretty fucking cheap and so even with that being said and that's super awesome it's still like oh my god where do i even start you know what i mean it's yeah. just it, it's a lot and there's so much stuff out there i mean that's not a bad thing at all no no but there's no, no, just so it's much just, stuff it's just like you get older and you don't have the time and then um even though the games are still cheap you know it's still a it's lot. a big time investment yeah yeah most definitely 
But man, but, it's a lot of a lot of good games out there. I think uh, I had gotten the last new game that I got was Metal Gear Solid Five, and I'm still trucking through those. I actually made it through Peace Walker. You beast those like a champ, dude. I've actually been going through them. I like set my mind to something and actually did to it. Completion, and he's done it twice, three times now. Yeah, in a row. <laughs> Very proud of you. I, I know, because I never do that. I know. I still haven't beaten uh, Arkham Knight. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> and as much as this dude talks about how much he loves Team Raider, never beat it. I never beat it. No, I, I have this thing it's where I'll, I'll play piss. a game up until like the last level, and then I won't play it again for like five years. He's and still, then I'll start over and still not beat it again. I have pretty much beat this. <laughs> he's, that's, he's, that's the thing. I was like, I've seen most of it. He's so mad about you can't get the new Tomb Raider on PS4. He it's had, the he principle. Beat, he it's had the even, principle of the matter. I'm like, dude, you got a year. Play, play the game that you have that you haven't beat yet. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> the first Tomb Raider game. <laughs> that you're uh, pissed about playing I didn't know you were being that one. specific. <laughs> Can't play the second one's bullshit. Like, you haven't beat the first one. <laughs> now, I've gone through, uh, I got the Legacy Collection, went through Metal Gear Solid 3, which I'd already played that one. I played the shit out of that one whenever it came out on PS2 back in college. Uh, then, finally got through Peace Walker, which was a beast. It's a really long game. And the thing yeah, was, it was actually, a, it was a PSP game. Yeah. yeah. This, I mean, it's got a lot of fucking meat behind it. And it was uh, originally a PSP game, but uh, I ain't, I'm not playing all that on a little tiny screen. So the HD legacy thing was really cool for that. Then got Ground Zeroes, went through that. I said, I want to go through that and get a lot of the extra stuff, like the uh, do some of the little smaller side missions and get the... Uh, you can unlock the original Solid Snake costume from the PS1. That's pretty sweet. It looks really cool. Um, so I need to go back through and get some of that stuff. But I finally started Metal Gear Solid Five like two days ago. And that's that's the newest game that I've started playing. And that game came out like... September. September, two months ago, two, three months ago. Yep. Yep. <laughs> There's a lot of good stuff. It's uh, you just kind of, kind of pick your battles and pick which one. Speaking of want. battles. Speaking of battles. This Tuesday, Star Wars Battlefront. Oh, oh, oh good shit. God! I can. I'm glad you brought that up because <laughs> for some weird reason I completely forgot about that. Um, yeah, buddy. I'm. S- Dude, Jeff, I'm. I need to let you know this right now. I'm seriously thinking about calling out Tuesday. <laughs> I hear you. I think. Uh, I don't know if Rocky. Rocky's <laughs> last day. About this. Hey, he's, this is I'm, happening. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure. <laughs> I'm, I'm. I'm trying to get the logistics of this straight before I do it. The Rocky's last day was last Thursday, and I said something to Richard about uh, possibly picking up his shifts and getting more hours and stuff to fill in for Rocky because he's fucking solid as shit. There you go. There so, you go. I'm so, hoping that's going to work. Bert's out, so. missing work for for Battlefront, and, and it's pretty awesome. I'm going to make sure to post this episode after Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, hey, uh, I just heard y'all's podcast, and uh, no, get your ass to work. <laughs> You're totally not sick. <laughs> <laughs> I might be sick. <laughs> Things happen. Yeah, Battlefront. We I reserved play- it, but I've got. I got to wait till Friday to get it. Um, we all played the uh, beta, and it is super, super fun. You actually played the uh, part of the entire game the other day. I played day. as Boba Fett. <laughs> Tell us about it. that. Because the game stopped this weekend, or the one that I go to next to work, had they had in their PS4 kiosk um, the full game. Oh, shit. So you couldn't do the multiplayer stuff because it's just a standalone console, but you could look at all the, the features of the single player. And they have like a heroes and villains mode where you can play as, you can just run around. So I just ran around as Boba Fett shooting dudes. Shit. <laughs> he had the jet pack, yeah. he had the flamethrower, he had shot the little rocket. It was, it was pretty That's dope. Fucking dude. awesome, yeah. dude. It looked amazing. So that pretty much convinced me. I'm like, yeah, I gotta, gotta, I gotta get it. So <laughs> I just put a lot of time yeah. in the beta. Uh, those like four days that they had it. So it's, it's exciting to me to have like a multiplayer game that I want to get into. Um, I haven't been into one in a, a long, long time. I think the last time that I was really into one was. I want to say Call of Duty 4, the first Modern Warfare. That's really the only game that I've ever really, really played online. I played, you know, I got into uh, Splatoon this year for a little while. Oh, and Splatoon. 
Um, Actually, we'll talk about that a little bit later because some more stuff came out for it. But I think I think it kind of ran its course for me. Not that it's a bad game at all. It's a fantastic game. Oh, yeah. Um, but there's other stuff I wanted to play. So yeah. I had to move that's, on. That's what we were saying earlier. I mean, just like thing with Destiny, so much stuff. I put a lot of time into Destiny this year before the 2.0 reboot mm-hmm. or it kind of forces you to get the new stuff. Um, kind of cripples that's one the thing. people that have the pre-existing game. And then to do that, you've got to pay $40 more. Dollars. $40 for the expansion. Um, on top of the to 60 un- that to you already spent. everything. Yeah. Which, I mean, it's a lot Which of I'm content. Not, I'm not totally against it. I just didn't want to do it. And there was other stuff I wanted to play. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, An embarrassment of riches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got uh, the the new WWE game. That's my Madden. I get it every year. And they put so much stuff in there. <clears throat> you realize he's been playing the shit out of it. I, uh, I'll probably still be playing it this time next year. It's just the amount of time I, you got to put into some of the stuff, and I want to do it too. <laughs> I love playing those games, but yeah. to like get the end goal stuff, I'm gonna have to put a lot of time into it. Dude, for the last one, you know, shit spent two days just making your dude. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I like no, so, no I, I did not yeah. see you like playing an actual match, like in the game or story or campaign or whatever, for like at least two solid days after you got that game. Well, I got to tweak it. It was just you in menus. <laughs> yeah. Putting that's tattoos half, on your dude and just like doing, me, like tweaking his moves and stuff. Because what's cool is you, you know, there's online community that uploads the stuff constantly. So I was like going in there and checking what the new stuff is or something. I like I download it and then I tweak my Kinda guy. Like, didn't like your belt buckle, the uh, imperial. Yeah, insignia. I got the imperial logo. Oh shit. Yeah, and I got. Um, I what's your dude's name? Just Alan. Oh, Alan Beasley. Yeah, well, the, the call- <laughs> Beast Lee. Yeah, the, the, the call name is Beast, so it says my first name, and then it says Beast, and then it says Lee. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it's pretty rad. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna get Battlefront. Um, but anyway, Nintendo Direct stuff. Yeah, and they, the uh, they first Nintendo them. Direct since uh, Iwata passed away, because there was some. It was kind of up in the air to if they were going to keep doing those after he died because he was i mean he was definitely the focal point of the nintendo directs right he was such a public face of that company but they actually did it and uh reggie reggie fils the uh president of noa kind of took the reins for this one oh, and did uh he? yeah i didn't watch it i just and uh bill trennan the main treehouse guy did a lot of the stuff um, I'm going to run through a lot of the highlights real quick, and then we can go back and talk about some of them. Uh, one of the big things was Cloud from Final Fantasy VII is going to be in Smash Brothers. That's huge. Yeah. That's Mind-blowingly that's huge. Yeah. There's a... Uh, Sony property. Oh, sorry. We're gonna, you say you want to talk about it later. Go over. It's not a Sony property. Square. Well, it was only on PlayStation Oh, yeah, Fantasy seven. seven. Seven, yeah. Yeah. But up until then, it was an Inten- Square Nintendo word. Prize. Right. Mo- okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> like, z- z- lock it up. Lock it up. Lock it up. Uh, Legends of Zelda Twilight Princess HD was officially confirmed, and they showed some uh, footage of that. Uh, Hyrule Warriors is going to have a female Link character in it. Oh, that's which, in that game. Okay. Yeah. Or actually, Hyrule Warriors Legends, the one for the 3DS. It's going to be in that. Mm. Uh, so that's cool that they're actually doing a uh, female link, which is really cool. Uh, update for Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes. You'll probably talk, talk the most about this. Uh, Pokemans. Pokemon! Pokemon! I got to catch them all! <laughs> Pokemans, uh, what was it? Uh, red and blue? And yellow. And yellow. Lots of colors are going to be re-released on the uh, 3DS Virtual Console. Uh, Pokin Tournament is going to be released on the Wii U, which I think that was already kind of a given. But the uh, Shadow Mewtwo uh, Amiibo card is going to be included in the f- initial run so that you can unlock that character earlier. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's some Pokemon. I heard something, it's, something Mewtwo. This, it's a Pokemon stuff. There were words there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a lot of uh, update stuff coming for Splatoon. Lots of new levels, lots of new weapons. Uh, firm dates on Xenoblade Chronicles X, which looks absolutely amazing. Awesome. Uh, Star Fox Zero got a second release date since they pushed it back from the holiday season. 
Uh, Super Mario Maker is going to have a uh, portal website so that you can like filter through levels and what you want to play because the the actual in-game menu system for trying to find what you wanted to play was uh i heard it was kind of cumbersome it's so hard to weed through the bullshit yeah so they're <laughs> they're trying to remedy that through a online portal that you can do and then but it actually links up with your game That's so cool. you can like get on your phone find what you want and then whenever you actually boot up the game it'll say like hey here's what you saved i like that a lot uh, some Fire Emblem Fates news got a, I think we, yeah, got a release date and the uh, different versions, uh, some Animal Crossing stuff, Mario Tennis stuff, Mario and Luigi Paper Jam stuff, Dragon Quest, you said. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. I'm excited. I don't know enough about Dragon Quest to care. I don't know. I just played that one game on PS2 and I liked it a lot and they remade it on the 3DS in Japan, not here. <laughs> and now it's coming here, so now I'm excited. Nice. Cool. We're just good, solid RPGs. Uh, and a uh, Wii U bundle is coming out this holiday, I think maybe for Black Friday. This got a uh, Smash Brothers and Splatoon yep, pre installed on the that's system. That's the Black Friday deal. It's uh, t- two? Two ninety nine. Two fifty, I think. Two fifty. That makes sense. Do either of you have a Wii U? Yeah. Yes, we do. I love it. A lot of fun. What do you what do you recommend on there? What do you play? Splatoon, which I don't have oh, anymore. God. Uh, Smash Brothers. Uh, Mario Maker. Um, Mario 3D Land. Yeah. World, they, whichever one it was. They got the HD Wind Waker, The Legend of Zelda. Uh, Bay- okay. Bayonetta 2 is really good. Uh, Pikmin does, 3. Mm-hmm. How does the controller work with Wind Waker? Do you like see your menu and all that? You got the, uh, the touch you got screens, the, map. the menu, the map and stuff. Yeah, that's badass. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, that was it for the bullet points for it. But dude, Cloud Strife. Yeah. And Smash Brothers. I mean, Smash Brothers has been has gone from like basically a Nintendo centric lineup for the fighters to, to apparently just, all bets are to off just now. this '90s explosion of all the characters yeah. that we loved. Fucking uh, Sonic, Pac Man, uh, Snake was in Brawl. <sighs> But he's not in this one. He's not in this one. Wait a minute. Sonic and Pac-Man were both in... They're in the new one. They're in the new oh, one. So- Sonic was also in Brawl in the previous one. Oh, really? But uh, the new, this new one, though, has got him, Pac-Man, uh, Ryu from Street Fighter is in it now. Yeah, he was a oh, DLC cool. character. Uh, Mega Man oh, bad is in it. Uh, and then and fucking Cloud and Strife. And now Cloud Strife. Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> like his like, Super Smash move is going to be the limit break. And he actually cuts the stage in half. <laughs> It's just crazy to me because I know you just said that the the up until that point they were on primarily Nintendo systems, but when that game came out, it was only on PlayStation. I think it came out on PC eventually, but it was only on PlayStation. Mm-hmm. So I associate Final Fantasy VII only on a PlayStation thing. Sure, and yeah. Then the fact that that character is not now going to be in a Nintendo game is crazy. <laughs> oh, I mean, I Mind think it, blown. it bodes well for like the Square Enix Nintendo relationship too. Yeah. Um, well, Dragon Quest too. Yeah, it's it's cool that we're finally getting those over here. Um, because I feel like the last well, hell ever since that came out on PS2, there hadn't been a whole lot of Dragon Quest games here. Um, but there's still been keeping the series going, just in Japan. I mean, we got some stuff, right. I think, but. Uh, it was. I had a lot of fun playing that game, and it'll be really cool to have that, like a, a remastered, in in a portable. I think that'll. I think it'd be a good game for a portable system. So, for Dragon Quest, is it only for the new 3DS? I have no idea. Oh. I didn't I read that far not. into it. <laughs> 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 but was it not for the new 3DS? Like a Pokemon. A Pokemon. I never played Pokemon. So. Oh, dude. The only thing Never I like about this story is they're not. It's not like a re remastered because they've mm-hmm. been remastering like some of the older ones. Mm-hmm. Um, like to Omega the, and to the Sapphire, updated, they updated the old games into the new games graphics and the way the game plays and stuff, sure. which is awesome. So I was, we're all kind of sitting there hoping they were gonna like, all right, we're finally gonna do the original ones like this. Um, that still might be a thing that happens, but this is just you can download the original games and play them. But if they're like six bucks, dude, I'm all for it. Even though it'll look shitty. I think the uh, generally the Game Boy stuff on the 3DS is like five. 
Yeah, but it's got the word Pokemon on it, so yeah. they'll probably charge Pokemon's. ten for it. Get another dollar for it. <laughs> I'm thinking Pokemon's. probably ten. Let me show you my Pokemon's. But it'd be cool because it's cool. Um, when that game came out to trade Pokemon, you had to use the link cord, hook it up to your Game Boy, and hook it up to oh, your friend's shit. Game Boy, and you could trade Pokemon. Because this was old school Game Boy, like toaster, yeah. Yeah. toaster size yeah. green yeah. Game Boy. Yeah. Um, but now the, you're going to be able to trade over Wi-Fi. That's which cool. is pretty cool. We have the technology. We do have the technology. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested in hearing more about this Pokemon tournament thing. It's just, it's just like a fighting game, right? Yeah, it's uh, actually the guys who did uh, Tekken. That makes sense with the name. That's. It took me a long Pokken. time to figure that out. Pokemon. Yeah. Pokemon. 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 It's basically, it's a Facebook game. Oh, fuck. And you just send pokes back and forth. <laughs> Wait, they Worst a Pokemon, game It's a fucking tournament. <laughs> you just hit one button and then wait for the other person to hit the same button. Wait. Let's let's sell that idea right now. <laughs> Brilliance. And we'll get like five billion dollars. Sell it to Zynga. No, fuck Zynga. Sell it to the Candy Crush guys. <laughs> Activision? Yeah, that, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because Activision bought the Candy Crush they, people for... They bought... Candy Crush and Max billions. 3 games for billions of dollars. <laughs> That's still mind-blowing. It is. Never so played Candy Crush either. Uh, Twilight, oh, uh, Twilight, Twilight Princess. Princess. Yes! I'm still kind of really jaded on that game. That's because you couldn't play it you're because you're a Because I couldn't play it because I'm a left-handed. And they didn't have a way to change that. Because it was on the Wii when it came out. So it's all motion controls. Game Cube, though. You could have played shit. it on the GameCube. But I didn't have it. At well, that's your own fault. Anyway... <laughs> It's not my fault that they didn't. It's not my fault. That they, it's not my fault that they fucking didn't cater to people that might be left-handed. <laughs> you should, there should have been a, like a thing An where you option, could switch hands. Where yeah. you could switch. That, that sure. just should have been a thing, but it wasn't. They rigged the crap. That, and the I reason it was to, like that because they rigged it. it was, I tried to, you know, do it, hold it the way you're supposed to with your right hand, it, but I just couldn't do it. I just, I, I just couldn't do it. So I, I played that game for maybe an hour or two. And I'm like, cool, can't play this Zelda game, and moved on. So hopefully with this one it'll be like the Minish Cap or not Minish Cap, um, Wind Waker, where I can just use the little the everything. Sticks. All the uh, screenshots and videos and stuff that I've seen, it's the button cool setup. So I'm excited. Then it's I basically wanted, the game. I wanted to play it. I just couldn't do it, so it pissed me off, and yeah. I kind of just whatever game. I played that game a lot. I played well. I played a lot of that game, but never finished it. That's the one where you can turn into a wolf, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and uh, with that. The game, you can pre-order it, I think starting whenever the direct was a couple of days ago. But uh, you can pre-order it, um, and they're actually doing a new Amiibo with it. It's uh, Wolf Link with Midna sitting on top of him. Oh, cool. That's cool. Which looks awesome as shit. Uh, they said you can also transfer that. You can somehow use that Amiibo also with the Zelda that's coming out for Wii U. Oh. Did they put they put a new trailer out for that too, didn't they? No, I, it wasn't a new trailer. It was just like five seconds of footage. Oh, okay. Of it. it just said "Still Coming" 2016 for Wii U and NX. Pro, quite possibly, or whatever yeah. they're calling it. Oh, and the uh, they're releasing the soundtrack for Twilight Princess as a pre-order bonus. Ah. Which last time they did that was with uh, Skyward Sword, and that's still one of my. Which it I was like the played Symphonic. that one either. Oh, dude. So Motion good. controls. Yep. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played that either yet. Twilight Princess was really good. I, really, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Really I thought it had some of its some pacing problems and just general issues, but overall, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. I remember when it came out, because that's when I still worked at GameStop. They had a like, sweet like gold controller bundle and stuff that came with the game. Oh. Yeah. I think that was the last time I... Was camped out somewhere to get something because it came out the same day as the uh, Wii U not Wii U Wii actually camped out while I was still in college and didn't have you're talking about do. Twilight Princess yeah okay I was talking about Skyward Sword uh. Skyward Sword is probably the last Wii game to come out that was important oh yeah yeah it was good too but you're but saying Twilight Princess was like the first in many ways one of the first games oh yeah yeah and it was it, it launched on the same day oh it, it did didn't it mm-hmm. yeah because I got uh, what was it Wii Sports came in the box no and I had Twilight Princess and I had that really shitty uh, sword fighting game uh, Red Steel 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had it that one. work. <laughs> nope, it was bad. The second one was actually surprisingly good, though. I'd already moved on. So, I mean, the second one's a completely different game. I don't even know why they kept that same name with it. Gun and sword combo. Yeah. <laughs> no, the second one, it actually worked, and it was really cool. A neat idea on, on paper, I guess. Yeah, that game was terrible. It was awful. Uh, the second one was... Uh, or the Howard Warriors. The uh, did you get that? Yeah. For the oh, Wii that's U? the Dynasty Warriors. Game. Yeah, the Dynasty Warriors. I was thinking of that Zelda other one mashup. The where you just like three players all the game. Oh, oh, oh no, the the Triforce Heroes. Yeah. Nah. Is that out? Yeah. Okay. Like, eh, it just doesn't really yeah, appeal me to me that much. I'm sure it's a really good game. It's just so they're bringing uh, the Hyrule Warriors, which is another cool game on Wii U, um, mm-hmm. to 3DS. Right. That's the news. Yeah. And it's a girl. So what is Hyrule Warriors? You ever Warriors? played Dynasty Warriors? Yes. It's that with Zelda characters. That's pretty With a shit and that's a cool. lot yeah. of fan service. That's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah. It's it's, it's exactly Honestly, that. it's one of my favorite games on the whole system. Wow. Yeah, that game is that Dynasty Warriors was pretty fun. I got into it um what are they on like fucking like Dynasty Warriors 50 now or something? I think <laughs> like, probably. Like, like Dynasty yeah. Warriors 3 Eight. and it was Eight says the highest they're at now. Okay, but they do like eight and then eight X Extreme Legends and then they, you know there's like three iterations of every number. Yeah, they, they yeah. pulled a Street Fighter on it. Oh, I yeah. always like Samurai Warriors better because uh, it was uh, Japanese instead of Chinese mm-hmm. um, characters. Oh, okay. Um, but then they had that sweet game where they mashed them both together. So instead of having like forty characters, they had like eight ninety characters. Oh shit! Warriors or Rochi, I think was what it was called. That sounds familiar. I've heard of it. Yeah, I need to check that out. It's it's really, really fun. Other thing was uh, Nintendo keeps releasing more packs for Splatoon, more updates, more stages. It's like a fall season. More weapons. Theme, um, on this one, there's new clothes for more of the colder weather. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking, man. That's what it is. It, it's, it's like coats and parkas and hoodies and yeah. stuff. But it's all so, free though, which is kind of neat. Uh, all the, all uh, the Splatoon yeah. updates have always uh, been free. Oh, well, that changes it. The original yeah. release of the game was pretty sparse and thin on actual like content. I think there were like four levels, and they were like ten guns, and they just keep still fine though. Yeah, no, it's still super problem. fun, and they just keep pumping out more stuff for it. That's completely free. You don't have to pay for a thing yet, and I think they said that's going to keep going through next year. I think. Oh, I don't or know. January or something. They're they're going to keep pumping out free stuff for it. But uh, the last one that they're doing, I think you can actually download it now, is uh, two more levels, lots more guns. So that's cool. What I thought it was cool about that game is you don't um, get to pick the level that you play, like the arena. It's like random. Like on the, it's like on a clock system. Like if you're playing between like three and four this day, it's going to randomly choose like two or three levels um, that you're going to play. You don't get to go in there and pick the stage. I thought that was neat. Yeah, that's cool. Mm-hmm. And you get, you have to play the same level over and over again within an hour or two, but you you didn't know what you were playing. There yeah. was no like voting system. It was I thought that was cool. A little surprise. Yeah, it's cool. Good game, definitely one of the best games oh, on yeah. the system. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And I like what we were talking about before. I really don't get into online games, especially shooters, that much. But this this one we're of the going few to get into time. one next week. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, buddy. Uh, Star Fox Zero, since it got pushed back from the holiday season this year, is going to release on April 22nd. And they showed some more footage from it, and one of the big gripes with it originally was the graphics looked pretty bad. Hmm. So, those looked better this time. It looks better least. now? Yeah. It lo- That's good. A lot of the textures, I'm all for a game. lighting looks better. All for people pushing the game back to make it better. Oh, to yeah. Polish it. Yeah. I'd, rather, I'd rather wait a year or two to get a game that's bam instead of the Tony Hawk's sure. 5 or whatever that last especially one came Star out. Fox cause god when was the last time we had a good Star Fox game 64. 64 bam bam it was like a decade and a half ago yeah so yeah delay it all you need to just $80 make sure dollars you get the rumble pack yep bam god that was a good christmas that's right kids that was a good christmas we had to buy a pack and hook up to our controller to make it vibrate. <laughs> and put they batteries into it. They weren't pre-installed. You had to put double A's in that shit. Triple A's. Triple A's in that <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, the other thing was uh, Fire Emblem Fates, the sequel to uh, the last Fire Emblem game that came out on the 3DS. The game is Awakening. awesome. 
super super good game that's actually probably my favorite game on the 3ds it's a strategic rpg very good permadeath and it is going to be actually three versions of it uh two core versions one's going to be called fire emblem fates birthright and the other one is conquest and you like each one has like so your like, different faction or different side on each one it's basically like one game is going to be the jedi version of the game and the other game is going to be the sith uh, version of it huh. and depending on how you play whenever you play the other one it's then going to impact how that one plays out do they come together no it's, it's two separate games are they going to sell them together later on the other <laughs> the third one called fire emblem fates revelation that's going to be actually available via dlc you can actually buy all three of those games for a price of eighty dollars it go. will include all three versions normally each of the main to get a dlc for free yeah basically the uh, core versions are going to be thirty nine ninety nine normal price for 3DS games. And then the... D, 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 D. Oh, if you buy one version, you can actually get the digital copy of the other version for 20 bucks instead of 40 Hmm. How about that? So if you want more than one, then definitely do one of those deals. So you can get them for less than $100. You got 3DS, right, Jeff? Yes. What do you play on it? Nothing right now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> not a damn thing. I'm still trying to finish up KOTOR. I'm not saying you don't have to... What do you have? I mean, what do you, you got games for it, right? Uh, well, uh, I got some games I borrowed from Bert. Um, right now, I hadn't even started Resident Evil. The Resident really Evil. really good game. Oh, uh, yeah. I always wanted to play that. Actually, the best one since 4, in my opinion. So that'll be the next thing I start. Did they put it on the Wii U? Cool. No, I, I actually got it for like 10 bucks last Halloween for the uh, like full console version. And it's really good because it, it plays exactly like the 3DS where you have the map and the inventory and everything on the bottom screen. It's really good. Sweet. Yeah, that was it. That's all I got. It was a big Nintendo Direct. It's holiday season, man. Games. Yeah. Cool. Start your Christmas list. They're expensive. It's probably going to be more more big stuff coming out. We're probably going to talk about Star Wars all next week. Yes. It's going to be Battlefront. So it's going to be more Star Wars stuff to talk about. No, we're getting we're coming up onto the Five weeks. on the big date. Oh yeah, we're getting close, guys. 5 weeks. 5 or got us almost 4, like 4 and a half. What's I the keep, date? I keep looking at my tickets and my 3D glasses. Oh dude, the day's the 15th. It's, it's like 4 weeks and 2 days. Counting them down, guys. Four weeks. Force today. Awakens. You have no idea how excited I am. <laughs> I think the I'm at the point where I'm just going. Whoosh. I actually have not watched the last couple of TV spots. That's where I'm at. I'm not watching anything yeah, else. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm getting I'm, the point. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm too. I'm man. I don't want to watch. I'm done reading. The last I didn't need big to know, trailer. I I'm not mad about the General Leia story that we talked about. Didn't need to know that right now though. You know, like I just I don't need to know anything else. I'm good. Well, the the last big trailer that came out, that last one that we all the watched. The Japanese international trailer? Yeah. Yeah. That, like, after that, I was like, okay, I don't need to yeah, watch. I, I think I'm saturated else. with, like, anything more I feel now is going to start going into the territory of, this is too much information that I want to know going yeah. into this. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm done. I'm ready. I think I, I know enough to keep me satisfied until the movie comes out. I um, think I'm kind of going on a blackout. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I see, I see articles, but you know, I don't read them. I don't I'm read done. Them. <laughs> no, like I said, I'm ready to go. Like the last article that I read kind of spoiled something concerning one character for me, which I mean, it, it's not necessarily true. It's, it was still kind of a rumor, but yeah, even fan theories that I think I'm gonna sort of, sort of stray away from. I'm know? done. <laughs> <laughs> We're just playing. Like, the- no, I'm serious. You guys can stop talking. This is too much. <laughs> just no, talking about just saying Star Wars is too much right now. I'm just playing the weight game at this point, dude. So yeah, I don't. I'll I, have I'll have Battlefront next week, and then uh, what is it, is the week before the movie comes out the Jakku DLC if you pre-order it? I think so, maybe. Yeah, so you get like a whole you get like a whole battle that's okay. in the new game. Yeah. If you pre-order the game, or excuse me, that's in the new movie. If you pre-order the game before it comes out, I'm not gonna play it. Spoilers. <laughs> All right, so I had uh, something come up. I was uh, thinking about it, right? So I've been reading the Old Republic books, you know, 
and I know that they're not in canon because it's different publishers and all that sort of stuff. Um, but then in the one of the last Yoda episodes, and where he encounters Darth Bane, dude, I was just thinking that You're talking about Clone Wars, yeah, 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 in Clone Wars where he encounters Darth Bane, it's like okay, well, Darth Bane because Clone Wars is in canon, yeah. So then. Darth Bane would have to be canon in the rule of two. So would those novels still be in canon, or are they going to write like something different, or maybe even include? I think just the name and that he was the person that instituted the rule of two. Probably, I think that's, that's pretty much the only thing that's canon. Goes. I think as far as that, they can because normally Darth Bane was like a human or humanoid mm-hmm. character. I I think honestly, just the name and that he's probably the guy who did that. I think that's pretty much as far as it goes. Man. There's so much, so much Star Wars stuff out there, and then they just wiped it all out. <laughs> I was thinking, like, out of that whole Yoda thing, like, the Darth Bane stuff with the ghosts coming out of the coffin. Yeah, I thought that was really I was, cool. That was the coolest part of that whole thing. I was like, ah, oh, yes, it's Darth Bane, and they actually, like, reference him being the guy who instituted the Rule of Two. Yeah, I thought that was really neat. Um, Told you guys it was good. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, you know, it yeah. was just really hard, and for all you out there listening or watching, man, if you're... If you had started Clone Wars and only got like a little halfway into the first season or something, just keep going, man. It gets so good, dude. Especially the fourth and fifth season are solid. Yeah, I think it's worth I, putting I, the time super in. Super solid. I think, oh, absolutely. That's worth putting the time in. I think it's as soon as somebody gets to the third season and they start to get on a roll with like uh, continuing story arcs and three or four episodes. And they stop talking about the Cad Bane. <laughs> oh, dude, Cad Bane. And they get into any of that. You, you'll you know then you'll find they they I think the writers maybe found a groove or mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know what if they maybe hired different writers or just took a different I think they kind of finally figured out what type of show they wanted it to be man because that good. first especially like the first and a half seasons were kind of all over the place well that yeah. maybe you know it did well enough that they kind of loosened the shackles on those guys right yeah, yeah. I'm like okay they probably started giving them a bigger budget too That's what I'm saying so like they could hire know, like, higher quality people. Hey, we're Cartoon Network. You guys are crushing ratings. Go have some fun. No. Yeah. Let me just say, like, I, I, I got finished with Clone Wars, and I almost immediately started watching Revenge of the Sith. Told you. I couldn't I couldn't watch Revenge of the Sith all in one sitting because I have a two-year-old. But I did watch all of it. Um, but immediately when I, when, it, when I see the first s- battle in space, right, and there's all those Star Destroyers in, in, in Revenge of the Sith, Right, the very first with battle. Grievous's ship and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I immediately thought Clone Wars looked better. Yeah, you you see a lot more laser fire. You see a lot more space battle than these guys. I mean, and you do see a, a fair amount of like explosions and and like like space battle in Revenge of the Sith. But I feel like whenever Clone Wars made it happen, like they would cut to those scenes and it would just be like confetti. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. the best. And you totally didn't get that with Revenge of the Sith. And, like, I mean, with Clone Wars, it's so it clean. Too. Yeah. Like, everything is so clean, so focused. Everything's not just a shitload of stuff. And they don't oh, try to man. put, like, like the minute detail in everything in Clone Wars. Because, I mean, everything's stylized to begin with. So you still want those clean, easy-to-animate lines. Right. But then right. with, like, Lucas's stuff on Sith... He's like, let's. This is our showcase for ILM. Let's throw as much shit as we possibly can, and it just looks like a computer barfed on the screen. Yeah, I mean, some of it was some of it was really cool, and then some of it was just you know, and then there was just like some kind of whack writing. But I do think that watching Clone Wars made you have more of an attachment to those characters. It makes Grievous a badass. Yeah, yeah, it really does. He was already cool looking, but after watching Clone Wars, you're like, dude, you like especially. Their fight, him and Obi Wan. Just seeing that after watching Clone Wars, you have so much more appreciation of what's going on between those two guys. There are things though there are things that It means I, something, yeah. dude. There are things though that I have to throw out because like well that I have to just like forget about because like right when Grievous meets Obi Wan he's like, um Oh, your reputation precedes you and it's like you guys fought before. Yeah, like you guys yeah. <laughs> like you guys have fought like five times. <laughs> you guys pretty much know each other. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't so much remember all the dialogue points. I just remember like after well, after watching Clone Wars and then watching that and like seeing them I'm like, Yeah, this is fucking dope. Yeah, yeah. I mean it it, it definitely made that movie better. Um I still don't know that it's my favorite out of the, the three original prequels. But 
It's definitely the one that I can. I don't know. Tolerate the most. I I'll think, say I yes think, to that. Ah, oh, dude, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I'm I, trying to think I, which one's the least shitty. It's the I'm just gonna go ahead and say, you know, it's not f- two. Fuck it. The God Clone Wars is my favorite, and the, you know, even if somebody asks me, no, what's your favorite movie? I don't care. Clone Wars is my favorite. <laughs> you don't understand. If you had watched Clone Wars, you would be like, yep. oh, okay, yeah, Clone Wars is your favorite. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I hear you. It, it's the best. You know, by far, it makes it it shines a better light on all of the prequel movies. Oh, God, absolutely. Yes. You know what I yes. mean? Yes. I mean, without Clone Wars, they would they would you know, I mean, they're still kind of shitty, but like, whatever. Yeah, Clone Wars is the shit. It is the shit. It's it was really good. Hashtag. Bring back Republic Commando. <laughs> oh man, dude, Gregor. Man, Gregor, the, the D Squad episodes. <laughs> man, <laughs> so good. That was such a good game, though, man. I was really bummed out they never made a sequel. That was. I, I always thought it was odd that they never made a sequel to it. And it ended with a cliffhanger. Assholes. That's <laughs> dumb. <laughs> Great game. Still good. See, the thing that also kind of irritates me is now that the prequels have such this tainted reputation, a lot of, like, the merchandise and stuff is really shying away from it. Like, there is no prequel stuff in uh, Battlefront. Right now. Which, yeah. But, I mean, like, whenever they originally said that, everybody's like, oh, shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, good job. We don't want that crap in there. But then I was like in the middle of Clone Wars at that point. It's like, no, dude, give I me... actually kind of want some prequel stuff in here oh, now. Yeah, there's yeah. some. Re- I mean, if, if they just took stories from Clone Wars, I mean, there's some amazing stuff that happens. All the bounty hunter stuff. I feel like watching by watching Clone Wars, it makes my excitement for the the Boba Fett movie or anything dealing with the bounty hunter realm of Star Wars yeah, oh, that man. much higher. I mean, it makes it like. Be like, cool. I never even thought about it being as like a, a integral part in the Star Wars universe. Maybe like an Aura Singh and you know? like a Boba and Bosk being like partners, basically. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, then you see them on uh, what was it, Empire? Yeah. Whenever they're just standing there, invaders telling them what to do, and you see them standing beside each other, and like now you watch that, and you're like, oh, these two guys have known each other for like the last twenty years. Yeah, yeah. It's good stuff, man. Yep, <laughs> it, dude, I mean, it, it, just, dude, it, it just adds so much to yeah. the, like pretty much everything, even the old movies. Mm-hmm. I mean, it adds oh, just so definitely. much. Yeah, I mean, like you watch the movies and you go, "I don't get enough backstory." Y'all want some fucking backstory? There's six seasons of backstory for yeah. you. Clone Wars. Oh, and another season and a half with the Rebels. Yeah, yeah, they're just adding on to. Dude, dude, I'm serious. Going, like, yeah. is dude. Rebels is after Sith, right? It's between Sith and New Hope. The New Hope. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Like, as much as you wanted us to watch Clone Wars, I want you guys to start watching Rebels. Well, I want to watch it, too. I just... I got to get access to it. That's what I'm saying. That's all I got to do. I've, I know. I can sit in your I room have, and watch I it. Have, I, have, I, <laughs> I have access for both of you. You can watch it on, on, on your phone or something. It's just a little app. I can't doubt we, it. We it's will watch it. It will be watched. And oh, yeah. We will tell Absolutely. you guys all about it. I just, I just want y'all to, like... Whenever you start talking like something like, yeah. dude, it's awesome. You need you. to watch it. That's like the same like so, feeling that I'm having with Rebels with you guys. So I'll I'll, I'll I'll I know I'll eventually end up watching Rebels, but I'm gonna I, I know I'm I'm on a New Hope right now, and I know I'm gonna fly through all three of those movies. So I think I'm gonna start reading some of the new Star Wars books, the comic books coming out. I mean, I may start oh, in with like Aftermath and like the actual novels, but. Uh, a better place for me to start would be the comic books, I think. Dude, because, read the comics. Because Darth Vader. Darth Holy Vader. Shit. And I, I really, Vader and Star I re- Wars, from what I've read. Yes. From what I actually haven't read. I um, really want to read Kanan, just because I'm unfamiliar with the character. Kanan, it starts... At, the first two issues are really, really strong, because mm-hmm. of like the Clone Wars era kind of stuff. And then the quality kind of trails off with the last two or three issues that I read. I think at least if I bought the first trade I would be familiar with the character and then when I watched Rebels I would already have some oh, yeah. sort of familiarity with where they're dealing with. You know, oh, I mean, you'd still very much enjoy it. Right. It's, yeah, still, it, yeah. it's still a very good book but and the first two issues were so strong and then it kind of... That was just a mini wasn't it? When, or is that I don't think so. I, th- I 
I want to say that it was an ongoing. I'm oh, not sure about I know that. that. It's released in trade and it's fairly pr- fairly new. Because mm-hmm. the, the last trade, issue yeah. in the trade, I don't have. I think about like the first four issues, and then the last one was after the the Great Schism. Because we got a month, and I know I'm going to fly through the original trilogy um, pretty quickly, probably this week. And I've got most of the, of the Star, Star Wars, Wars comics. If you want to borrow, borrow those, and I got uh, most of the Darth Vader, and I got the whole Leia series. The Lando stuff's really good too. Star Wars, Star Wars, right here. Oh, dude, it's happening. The Lando stuff goes back and explains uh, his and Lobot's relationship. Cool stuff. So there's one thing was missing <laughs> from my knowledge. Star Lobot. Wars. Lobot. I wasn't needing that Lobot backstory, <laughs> you guys. Give us some of that Lobot love. <laughs> Fucking Lobot. <laughs> And with that, all right, yeah, let's wrap it up. Wrap. All right, wrap it up. Uh, thank you for listening or watching. Remember to check us out on Facebook, on uh, the Twitters at the Geekiest. Our email is thegeekiest at gmail dot com. If you want to shoot us a line or ask us questions or anything, remember to check us out on YouTube, where obviously you're probably already watching this if you're seeing our beautiful faces. And that will wrap us up. Wrap. Wrap it up. That'll wrap it up for this week. I'm Bert. I'm Alan. I'm Jeff. Thanks for watching and listening. Stay geeky.